the title anyway. Oh, there we go. Hello, we're late. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, we're late. <laughs> we have been doing the usual. Just sat down. I need to adjust my chair. Um, <gasps> trying to gather stuff and make it accessible and look things up and have tea and we can relax now we are live so welcome to the live stream um we do these every sunday um yeah glad you could make it uh if you're new my name is nick if you're not new my name is still nick i mean that never changes <laughs> um yeah. i'm very tired this could go hideously wrong i'm very tired and i've just poured a beer so this could this could be like i've got a coffee <laughs> in my ebay mug <laughs> um yes welcome uh i'm nick this is my wife andrea and we sell stuff on the internet it's how we earn a living and we've been out buying we've been out buying a lot yeah a lot a lot oh uh, you know i did really well that like in that video that i shared about how much i got listed we probably bought twice as much as i listed <laughs> last week in um two days yeah we had a heck of a weekend. It was so much fun. We went to a jumble sale. Mm -hmm. Which was yes, a really good jumble sale. Yesterday, which we'll talk about. We then went charity shopping, which was a bit hit and miss, but we still found a few nice bits. Mm -hmm. And then today we went just, just to one. We limited ourselves just to one boot sale. I could have filled the car twice at this place. I, w I was restrained, honest. Um, so I didn't pick up masses, but I did do quite well yeah i had in the back of my mind the amount we picked up at the jumble all day yeah. i've just seen that kenneth said that his daughter is seven days old now and he has time now has time to watch all the way through congratulations kenneth that's, wow that's amazing news I'd... yeah congratulations fantastic is that your first did he say last week i don't, I don't remember know. don't know if that's your first welcome to the world of parenthood your life will never be the same again <laughs> in a good way you know this is a good thing um so yeah let me scroll back uh this is going out live so if you can join us live and you're watching now uh, you can pop in the chat and say hello first in today was chris chris newton uh chelsea who we saw earlier now did you see alan at the boot sale no we bumped into alan if you saw me and oh. i was just like focused i'm sorry i, I don't look at people <coughs> around me so i just walk around in a wibbly wobbly world of my own <laughs> she does i do <laughs> <laughs> i've got so much dust in here i've literally just yeah. put a load of dusty crap in here i was trying to get some of the dust off it's it crap. quality merchandise i forget <laughs> um so yeah we saw alan and then in the queue we were chatting to simon mm -hmm. and then we bump bumped into another guy who i'm pretty sure is called adam uh, and then we bumped into a couple who uh, Vicky it was actually. She just messaged me on oh, Facebook okay. uh, right. to say it was nice to meet us. Vicky and her partner, whose name I don't think we got. So hello if we saw you today. Um, yeah, it was quite a social day at the boot sale, bumping into people. It was, wasn't it? And, and we went with, um, with Joe, your sister. We so. went, took my sister along, yeah, yeah, to, you know, experience our day job, as it were. She was there looking for stuff for herself, for her girls. At one point, she texted us and said, I'm ready to go home anytime you're ready. Yeah, and then we dragged her <laughs> around like, the whole thing again. Went around for another hour. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So these Sunday shows are our chance to come on and hang out with you. Uh, if you've got questions, um, things you want to share, put them in the chat. It is tricky to keep an eye on the chat. You have to can't kind of try and get our attention. Um, there's loads of chat. I'm going to have to scroll past it. So a few hellos as we go. Alexandra Weeks is in. Russell Maidley. George Ross is in. Um, I need to mention George Ross, actually. I was chatting with him last last night or the night before. I'll share that first, actually. Um, oh, Andrew's in Money Mental. I was chatting. I was watching on Steve Green's channel. They were out in uh, Wolverhampton last night for a meetup, which looked like such a good laugh. And they were br broadcasting live after like four or five pints. It was quite amusing. Um, yeah, was it Steve said, said this morning, I'm never drinking again? I thought, yeah, that'll last. For he about said that two weeks two ago when we saw him. <laughs> <laughs> or whenever it was. Um, okay. Oh, Karen's in. Hi, Karen. Andrew said that you were copying them, um, drinking beer on the internet. <laughs> wow. Is like it because you felt left out? Sound like a good idea. Um 
Right. Oh, blimey. If we've missed you and haven't said hello, we would be here all night. So I apologize. Uh, lots of people. Pete's Retro Collectibles is in. Simon Gregson. Glitter Sunflower. Alan Dipple. It was me, Nick. Good to meet you today. Oh, OK. I'm terrible with names. If I get your names wrong, if I ever meet you, I sincerely apologize. I, I'm terrible with so it. So not Adam then, Alan. <laughs> Oh, right. If I start, not Adam. Right. Okay. Yeah. Apologies. Um, Heather's in. Hi, Heather. Aid is in. Gearing up for the quiz. So, yeah, I just mentioned I was chatting. It's great to have friends in this community who have specialist knowledge. Um, I'm going to make a video about the BBC microcomputer. Um, who D D Dave Rowland was helping me with that. Helping you blow it up. Helping me to blow it up. There's <laughs> going to be an interesting video coming soon. I don't know if you can see it. No, it's, it's it's in bits on the side. That's another story. So Dave's been helping me with that and giving me lots of helpful information about what I can do with it and etc. But I was messaging George because you may know George Ross is in the chat. is a big Jurassic Park fan. Now, last week we had a big haul and we didn't share loads of it. Loads of stuff we didn't share. We didn't get around to this guy. Can I just say hello yeah. to Katrina, who's just uh, recently found us and has been, been binge watching our videos. And I um, just wanted to say hello. And thanks for joining us. Hi, Katrina. Great name. Um, yeah, so this was from last week and it's just one of the many things we didn't get around to sharing. This is there's the logo Jurassic Park. So it's official Jurassic Park match. And I thought because it's got metal bits in it, it feels like it should. Um, move and put batteries in and it looked like you should be able to get into it here whereas whereas private parts should be there's a bit of a seam but i couldn't get get into it so i messaged george and he helped me with a do, doing some research on this what you actually do is you waggle its tail and he thrashes about i think it's called a thrasher or something but yeah but it amazed me waggle These are... its tail and it thrashes about yeah you're being rude. Oh. oh no. Um, but these have been selling for about fifty pounds, which is crazy. I think it's from the Lost World series, was it? I can't remember. So yeah, thanks, George, for the the chat and helping me out with this one. Um, right, what we're we gonna do? <laughs> What are we going to do? Well, share, share we, we've got a lot of stuff to show people. We're, we're going to have to just do edited highlights, really. I haven't even. Shall I just mention in... Ellen's Instagram thing first? Yes, go on. Then. Um, which we have linked below. She set up an Instagram page today, which um, she was hoping that we would share. This is Ellen. Um, if you're new to the channel, we have an 18, almost 18 year old daughter called Ellen, and she started a project on Instagram called Project Plant UK which is I've I linked can actually it see linked it below because the light's so bright no you can't see that at all um project plant uk um basically she she's put on here we want she wants to help change the world of plants basically she wants to get people involved um that wouldn't normally be involved in planting things um get involved in planting food and wildflowers for bees etc etc and I think that her main aim is to get young people like herself who are not necessarily gardeners she knows um, nothing about it so garden. she's learning along with everyone um, it's great she's been in the garden planting all yeah, day hasn't she and I think she probably needs to change her bio to say something like that really yeah um, because she's her main aim is to eventually um, work with people young people like her with mental health issues um, and work with groups like guiding and brownies and that kind yeah. of thing so so if you um, can please go over to instagram and give her a follow because yeah. she would be thrilled if you did yeah she um, just really wants to get yeah. people excited about growing your own food and creating um, a garden space that will help nature and help the environment yeah so if you can if you're on instagram please go over have a look around give her a like she would be to bits i did ask if she could come in and say hello but she's so <laughs> shy it's not going to happen yeah. right we will have to crack on because we've got too much stuff we're never going to show it all so one of my favorite little finds today was this 
because you rarely see this is a ds now there's the ds original or the fat ds as they call it and the ds light so this is the original it's the blue version but it's very cool because it's boxed and it's a nintendogs boxed version um haven't had a chance to really look into it but does it actually have the game in it yeah it's complete it's got all of its uh, inserts uh game and manual it's not in amazing condition <laughs> dave said i noticed nick is not following ellen's project <laughs> <laughs> okay fair enough dave i will i'll be on to that at the moment i'm not broadcasting live on youtube uh top screen's a little bit um scratched but i think it's got a screen cover on but i couldn't manage to get it off the bottom one had a screen protector on i've taken it off and it's really nice so that was cool and it had a charger the official charger which means i can now charge these other two fat ds's or well, one of them's charged now Hey, look at it. It's come. It's alive. Oh, that's a nice sound. Oh, there you go. That one works. Cool. Um, yeah, so that was really nice. I paid six pounds on it. I'd be guessing at what that's worth because I haven't had a chance to look into it. But at six pounds, yeah, why not? Again, lots of highs. Hi from um, Kentucky, USA. That's the lion's share. Hi from Blackpool. That's from Andy. Lots of people watching, lots of new people joining us as well today. Oh, the, the guys who were out in Wolverhampton are talking about Leah. I was watching uh, last night and I think she was a barmaid that worked there, but she was coming over and we were all asking her questions through the internet, through YouTube really? and stuff. And yeah, it was yeah. funny. Apparently she did shots with them uh, oh. in the end. So, yeah. okay. And she nearly pulled a legend, says uh, Andrew. Nearly. <laughs> <laughs> nearly, but not quite. Um, did you just read that? No. David Walker says, hello, Nick and Andrea. First time on the chat. Welcome. Like your channel, we are fairly new business sellers. Most of our clothing items sell for under £10. We need your advice. Be more selective then, really. I mean, this is something you're trying to do, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I mean, I've been, you know, I've been doing clothing for a while and I'm still learning. So I'm still learning what works for me, what doesn't. And it's all about just picking stuff up, having a go and um learning as you go really it's um yeah there's no real shortcuts to yeah. to learning how this works and, and how to do it trends just... in brands change you know people ask for a list you, you can't really do that because that might change in a couple of months time you know yeah. it changes all the time you're better off to look for trends in um in fashion at the moment so look at magazines look at um fashion bloggers that kind of thing and see what's in and look for styles rather than brands. So there that would go. be my advice on that. Yeah, and my advice is always just keep learning, have an open mind. Yeah. Um, Saz guest. Now that was um, that's Sarah. Sarah, who we met at Bristol. She says can't stay, putting the kids to bed. So if you're still here, hi. If not, <laughs> see you later. Uh, Kenneth says you can restore uh, Nintendo DS factory settings by turning it, taking the battery out for ten seconds. So it's handy tip there. Right. Do you want? Do you want us to alternate a bit? You share an item, and I will. And we'll yeah, I'm afraid I haven't looked up any prices at all. I've come home. I've got Ellen from work. I've cooked dinner. I haven't had a chance to research anything. Don't worry um, about apart it. Apart from the Kath Kidston bowl that I picked up, which I haven't brought in with me. No, I did. Oh, I, did you? I, I, I couldn't find one of these, but um, not was... that particular design. But um, uh, it would be ten pounds tops. Um, That's what I thought. I probably would struggle to get that, to be honest. So. I did put on my Instagram earlier that I might actually keep it. I was looking this pattern, which was called flower spray, was it or something? Yeah. Or, um, yeah. If you get the teapot and the sugar bowls and stuff like that, you can command good prices. But this is just one yeah, it's just individual one individual bowl. So because I love Kath Kidston so much, I'm thinking, you know, it might be cool to pick up the odd bit here and there and just build up my own little odds and sods Kath Kidston set because we're constantly breaking crockery so you're not it's all those blazing rows we have not letting you we throw at each other <laughs> i don't break them you do you're quite no, rough when you're washing up you like. <laughs> um oh quick one uh while we were charity shopping i found this for me official star wars oh, yeah. really thick really nice quality uh Shall I show you the millennium falcon t-shirt I can find it in my pile of stuff. Bear with. 
Shoulders of Butter says, what do you guys look forward to most? Jumble sales, car boots, charity shops, or yard sales? Out I of love all, a jumble. <laughs> for me, it would be, when you say yard sales, we go on these like yard yeah. sale trails or jumble trails or they're, they're called various Yeah, things. actually, I, yeah, that's my favourite. They combine it all because you're driving around, so it's like yeah. a treasure hunt. You're following in literally a map to find treasure. And yeah. there's all, all other dealers and resellers all going around and yeah, it's just and it's so like much fun but beating people to the next stall yeah. and finding different routes and then yeah it's just cool love it so there um, that's the my favorite this is my cool t-shirt pickup of the day look at that breakfast club who remembers breakfast club the movie yeah that's that? my it's my favorite film of all time so i'm guessing this is the keeper then oh yeah i bought it with the intention to keep it <laughs> I didn't even see that. I don't remember you picking it up. You, well, you weren't with me at that point. Oh, there you go. That's fine. Uh, all the fun of the fine says, I sold a couple of Kath Kidston bowls. They sold so quickly. I think they were vintage. She's uh, worth looking out well, for. Well, there are designs that actually are discontinued. So, yeah, for collectors, they go really quickly. Hi, Karen. Iconic film of the 80s. It really is. Totally and, it, is. and it's My still... Favorite. It's still it's really good business, today, it? isn't it? If you watch it today, yeah. it is obviously a little bit dated, but it, it's such a good story. Yeah, it is. It's and it cool is, it's the same for every every teenager at school. We all go through exactly the same things. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So which, so were you a geek? Were you a weirdo? Were you, what, what were the four categories? She was like prom queen kind of. Oh, definitely wasn't prom queen. He was the rebel. Then there was the sport, the sporto guy, I the geeky sporty. guy. So you were the freaky one with the dark hair. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where I fell into. I was I certainly wasn't a sporty. I was halfway between the rebel guy and the geeky guy. I was I was a rebel without a clue. That's what I was. <laughs> um going back to last week, I didn't share this and I wish I had because I was really pleased with this. This was one of the last things we bought last week at the boot sale. Um this is Playmobil and it was still sat there right at the end. Um, it's unfortunately missing the front sail. It should have two of these big square sails. Um, it needs a little bit of work. It's missing a couple of bits and bobs, but it was only two pounds. And these have finished anywhere from 20 to 40. Without figures, it will be the lower end of that. But it's just, it's just such a nice thing. So, yeah. Just thought I'd share that. Um, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. I was looking for a bag for life under there earlier. Did you know you've got a baby Furby in the bag there? No. Oh. And some game um, game cubes. Oh, there's a game cube in there. Yeah, there's a baby Furby in there as well. Is there? Yeah. It's probably hiding out of the way, you know. There's a new phrase <laughs> called tat creep going around, which somebody coined. Like, we'll have tat just appears in your house and spreads around. It's just, yeah. well, our house today. It's just got like a tat creep mad. It's everywhere, isn't it? Yeah. Um, oh, we said if it, if you saw us today out of the boot sales, we said a load of hellos uh, at the beginning. So you might want to scroll back. We gave everyone a shout out that we saw this morning. So here it says GameCube. Yeah, GameCube. I picked one up a while ago and it's still set, sat under my desk in a bag. <laughs> I just thought it was a, a pile of bags. And, uh, and then I thought, what's that? There's a GameCube in there. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I haven't even had it out of the bag. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Basically sums things up, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, it's chaos. And what are we doing going out filling a car <laughs> twice in a weekend? So, um, um, is it on me? I can't remember where uh, we're at. No, I? Well, I can show you something. Okay. Oh, I'm going to show this because I, don't, like know this if, I don't know if Mel's watching this, but if she watches it back, she'll be proud of me. Look what I bought, Mel. It's... um. What is it, Andrea? It's a knitting basket. Well, I, what do you call it? I don't know. What's the technical term for one of these? Sewing basket. Well, no? yeah, it's for you like put wool it's in for it? your knitting or your crochet or whatever. Yeah, you put your your needles and your and your wool and stuff in there. So there's a much value in them then. Well, um, Karen's picked up some of these before. I haven't actually looked it up yet, but I know that Mel's picked them up and sold them. Karen's picked them up and sold them. Has it got a bit of age um, to it? Oh, it's Karen to says, I had one of those, went for 15 plus postage. Really? Yeah. Nice. So what do you reckon age-wise? Was it 80s or something, oh, maybe? I don't know. 
Hard to tell. There's no way of really knowing. I don't know, but I thought it was really cool, and it was only two pounds. It's almost Kath Kidston-y pattern, isn't it? Yeah. A little bit. Um, yeah, I quickly showed this. Uh, boot sale today. Picked this up for a pound. Uh, clearly, it's a Discman. Well, it's not a Sony Discman. It's actually a Technics portable CD player. Um, it's quite a good one. People have been achieving... Oh, I did briefly look it up, sort of 20 to 30, I think. Um, so, yeah, haven't had a chance to set it up. It has some batteries in, but it doesn't seem to be powering on, so they're dead. No battery leakage, thank goodness. So, yeah, quite happy with that. I've got so much electronics I need to get on. I think I'm going to have uh, another binge for a week just doing electronics soon. I could probably spend spend a week just testing. <laughs> it's all gone a bit mad. Um, now you picked up one of these cameras. Which was the one you picked up? Oh, that one. I might have to ask you for those um, keywords again later, Karen, because that will disappear and I won't see that again. But cool. That's the one you picked. Yeah, up. Yeah, I picked this one up for a pound. Yeah, I looked this one up. Uh, Twelve to fifteen. You're looking. It's oh, that's not bad. It's an Olympus um, multi autofocus. Zoom lens. Kind of 90s point and shoot little thing. And then I picked up a very similar one, but a Canon. This is a Canon um, Snappy LX2. Um, completers on completes on these were anywhere from £5 to £25. Go for £25 then. It's <laughs> a so case of aim high, put international shipping on, use the right keywords and... and uh, wait yeah, it out we'll i guess we sold a few cameras recently some i i put on cheap because the, the market was absolutely saturated and some we've been getting about 20 pounds for it just varies yeah it does. one of the chaps i was talking to today i think it was simon said he spotted a mew an olympus mew he wasn't sure which one i think it was a bit bashed up so he left it and he pointed to where the stall was i went over there and i hunted through everything couldn't find the damn thing yeah, somebody got it. So I think I missed it. In the it. meantime. Yep, that's where it goes. Um, yeah. That's those. Do you want to grab some clothing or something? Well, I'm going to show this funky, what I think is a bag. It's a basket stroke bag thing. Um, obviously, wicker, because I love my wicker. Um, does up. Do you? <laughs> if you haven't heard. It's got um, balls. It's got balls. <laughs> it's like toggle fastening, and then it opens up bit like a mini picnic basket type thing um so it's multi-purpose really but you know you could you could use it as a handbag kind of thing. so i don't know it was just really unusual so how goodness knows how much I, I could put on that but how much was i've it? never seen anything like it um a pound i think a whole English pound. English pound whole English pound for a little square wooden handbag i mean wicker handbag Oh, so, I like yeah, it. I think that's interesting. That. Yeah. Joan, hi. Joan is in, says, you've inspired me to dig out all my music cassettes. Oh, that reminds me. Um, and I'm going to list the good ones from the 1970s and 80s, may play a few. I picked up another cassette today um, from the same lady. We got all the Madonna ones a couple of weeks back. Yeah, um, you were like, oh, I remember you from last week. And she was like, really? <laughs> <laughs> This is Oasis, uh, What's the Story, Morning Glory, which is surprising. People have been getting up to a tenner. Yes, Andrew, Oasis is the answer. <laughs> up to a tenner this has been selling for. Oh. Used. Mm. Used on eBay. Oh, and random books. Um, so, yeah, that was cool. Yeah, Oasis, Dave. Yes, Andrew, see? <laughs> 20 pound for the wicker basket bag yeah. says lisa is that what they're selling for or are you offering <laughs> <laughs> oh um, all the fun of the find was saying that they noticed all the different styles of that sort of bag in accessorized and the vintage ones are so much nicer they really are i, I yeah they're obviously the new ones are based on the vintage styles, so i much prefer to go to a boot sale and find one that's vintage um I forgot at the beginning, I actually wrote them down. Uh, a bunch of subscribers have bought stuff from our store this week. Um, so I want to say hi to Andy, Julie, who bought that dress, um, and Elliot, if you guys are watching. Thank you. We really appreciate the business. Um, 
Kevin says, only one good pickup today, Space Crusade. Nice. I hate board games, but couldn't leave it behind. <laughs> um, shall I talk about board games quickly? If you like. Um, the usuals. Um, up one or two today. <laughs> really nice vintage Monopoly. Really nice. Uh, this is the 93, I think it is, edition of Cluedo. I won't do the usual Cluedo questions unless you really want me to. No, please don't. Um, a really nice copy of Mystery at Hogwarts. 100% complete, minty fresh. Well, minty, you know, clean for what it is. This was from the Jumble. This isn't a board game, but it was interesting. 20 pence. It's Vitria and it's a um, glass, like painting on glass set. Looks like it's unused. All the little pots. Well, actually, that one might have been opened. Okay, so maybe one's been opened, but there's all of these little pots of. Uh, glass paint so there's too much glare and these sort of things people are selling these individually and doing quite well a set like this should be worth 20 to 25 pounds yeah. um and that was 20p at the jumble 20p. and it was still sat there at the end that's crazy the jumble was mad we we were filming, weren't we? Um, so there should be a video coming out. It's, it's another one of those. I have my GoPro, so I can't see the footage as I'm filming it. I don't know what's coming out. Yeah. But we had a whale of a time. Um, um, question from Random Chaos asked if the buyer paid for the Ralph Lauren grey suit. Yeah, did. Yeah, mm. it went. And I um, haven't heard anything more, so <laughs> fingers crossed. <laughs> um, yeah. This is the best condition one of these I have ever seen. This is vintage downfall from the 80s. Uh, well, actually, it's copyrighted 1970, but I think this edition was still being produced into the 80s. You're very excited about this game, aren't you? Well, it's just the condition. Of, George will know what I'm talking about. Back me up here, George. Look at that. I mean, usually the boxes have got sellotape damage on, the corners are knackered. It's 100% complete. Even what usually happens with these is this plastic tray in here is really brittle. Usually this is like bashed up and it's got splits and cracks. It's got all of its original little uh, doobies. What would you call them? Counters. Um, just love it. So, yeah. Instructions printed inside the lid. Genius idea in my book. I think I'm going to do one of my little uh, close ups on a vintage game for this little nostalgia video on that one yeah um it's, it's disappeared now but somebody asked if we would um if we had any of the jumble trails coming up and we do next saturday yes so hoping for good weather for that uh yeah. peter cummins hi is that downfall for amazon i think the price has dropped a bit um possibly it may be a sit on it and then pitch it Don't high sit on it you're squashing <laughs> yeah. and then pitch it high in this condition i would at christmas i'd go 40 or something like that. Oh, see? Bex is in the chat. Hi, Beck. Beck. Yeah. Oh, cool. Um, see, George is with me. He knows. Um, so yeah, and then we went on these. This is uh, Ticket to Ride. It's a new version of it. Uh, it's copyright 2019 on the back, so it hasn't been out long. Now I scan this into Amazon. And in the bright sunlight, um, I couldn't really make out the picture. I could just about read the fact that they were going for about 50 quid. When I got home and scanned it again, it was actually bringing up a different product. And this on Amazon is going for about 30 currently, but there's only one seller. Amazon doesn't have it in stock. Um, I also scanned it into eBay and it brought up a different ticket to ride game and I didn't notice. Yeah. And the, the ticket to ride game that it bought up new on eBay had been selling for about 50 as well. This one new on eBay is all over the place around 20 to 30. But I think we ended up buying two, three, four, five, all off the same stall, all sealed. It was a bit strange, wasn't it? He had other stuff as well. Um, he, they were packing up. They were literally, mm. this was one of the last things sat on the table. Um, he was just filling a box and filling the back of the car. It's funny because I saw one of those because I only had one out at one point and I, mm. I saw it as I went past and I thought, you must have seen that. So I, I'd never last, week, last week I picked up a game and then I made a mistake, so I didn't bother. So I thought, well, you've been down this aisle. You must I have seen that. I hadn't so been. That was aisle one. Yeah. 
I hadn't I thought, been down oh, maybe they're just asking too much because it was sealed. So these are all going into Amazon. There's one seller currently, I think it was at about £28, and he's got one left or one in stock at FBA. I think it was FBA. Oh, it may not have been FBA even. So anyway, <laughs> I'm going to send them all in, probably shoot for about 40 on them each and see what happens. Oh, Bexify said, I thought you were talking to me then, Andrea. Sorry, but hello, Bexify. <laughs> um, and Zach and Sammy said, Nick and Andrea, where do you find all your items? I'm in the UK and I'm struggling to get started. Um, well, boot sales, jumble sales, charity shops, um, jumble trails, as we just said. Yep. Yeah. Any, Facebook. Yeah. eBay itself. Auctions. Yeah. That just be creative. You know, find out what's in your area, what you can get to, what's available, and just yeah. go for it. Gumtree. Some people do really well using Gumtree. Depends where you are in the country a bit on that. I think as to how much it's used. Um, and I was going to say something else. Oh yeah, I um, wanted to say hi to Becky Louise. Um, I follow her on Instagram. So. Um, <laughs> I think let me just uh peter's asking what vids we've got coming up there should be a bunch of stuff coming out um i've i've got about four that need editing <laughs> yeah um becky has got a youtube channel uh, it's just called becky louise so head over there if you want to follow her because um it's cool and i follow her on um, youtube as well watch her videos <coughs> so pleasant valley picker ca is in uh yeah big supporter of the channel Nick bought a board game. Unbelievable. Yeah. I do. Oh, hi, Rob. Um, Krillin has sent us a $2 um, super chat and said, does eBay UK have web interpret yet? Yeah, I do believe so. Um, so he made a video about it, which I haven't actually watched yet. But mm -hmm. I will do because I want to um, you know, educate myself a bit more about it. I'm not sure. I did look at it a little bit and... Does, is it really something that would help us as resellers or is it something more for businesses, like, you know, sort of businesses selling new items? Oh, I think Zahir does very well out of it. Okay. We we have got it on okay. some products. I need to look into it. We don't get a lot of sales through that. Okay. We sell some car parts through it. Uh, quick answer, Rob. Yes, we do. Cool. <laughs> Yeah, see, I was wondering if it was more for like new items or multiple items. Or... It's anything. Okay. What did you pay for those games? Did I not say £10 each? So we paid 50 Um, Bit of a punt. There was a stall there, uh, which was St. John's Ambulance, and they had piles of new sealed board games, and they were all £10 each. I could have gone berserk, but some of them weren't that great on Amazon. It, about 20 pounds and so a 20 pound sale on amazon minus the fees and fba stuff and all that it's not worth paying a tenner so, fried says you should check the authenticity of it no don't tell me that i they look really really good if this is faked then it's it's a really good one but if the bark ah now if the barcode is bringing up the other game do you think you bought a dud then maybe oh well oh we may have a big should i open one up oh this is the thing i'd have to open. but then what how am i going to tell inside oh yeah what if these are faked and that's why the barcode is bringing up an old ticket to ride game ah uh. But then, what else did he have? He was just putting stuff away. He had some sealed DS games. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know. I didn't really know. Yeah. Oh, I'll have to look into that. Um, right, what else did we do? Do you want to share something? Um, he said there's been loads of Chinese imports of um, Ticket to Ride, as it's so popular. Oh, I may have been caught out quite easily. We'll see. We'll see how we get on. Uh, and like I say, I might have to open one up then and find out. How am I going to, you know, just open one up now? I'm going to open one up and have a look. See if this tells me anything else. I remember ages ago, somebody, might have been Zaheer, picked up a game at a car boot, I think it was. And um, turned out that was fake. And I think he could tell because the, uh, the board was really cheap. That does look a little bit 
flimsy for instructions. Okay. I don't know how I'd tell if that's... It's got a split in it. <laughs> the board's broken. The board's split in half. Um, yeah, so he said it was a fake Toy Story Monopoly that he had. Hard to say. I mean, you've got little sealed packs of cards. What I'm going to have to do, I think, is... is um, Look at some pictures of genuine ones. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it's a really interesting question. How would how would I know? Oh, you think that's a dud? Mm. Also, looking a bit closely, it had no Hasbro or anything on the packaging. Let's have a look. This may be a it was too good to be true moment. Oh. Let's have a look. Oh, mm. Mr. Will Grigg says 100% fake. No! There you go, people. Live on the internet, we've spent 50 quid on fake ticket to ride games. How do you know? Well, you might you just look for something. You know. Well, someone just said 100% fake. Yeah, I know, but you've taken their word for it. I don't I know. know. Well, the instructions are just a one page thing. I will do my research and confirm that. And then what do we do with it? That's the next question. What do you do if they are fake? Take them back to the boot sale. <laughs> Take them back to a boot sale. Don't know if you'll get £10 back on them, though. No. Anyway. Well, there you go. I think that's great that we shared that and you've seen it. Everybody makes mistakes. It's, it's really hard to avoid it if you're going to buy a lot of stuff over a long period of time. Um, yeah, they fooled me if they are fake. Oh, and also, you only have one out, and then I, I said, you don't happen to have any more. He said, oh, yeah, I do. I've got five. Yeah. Oh, dear. Um, Katrina, anyway, uh, said, um, after binge-watching your videos this week, I went to a boot sale today and picked up a Disney Nemo mug, the same as one in your vids. Um, so I'm going to try my luck at selling it. Um, I didn't sell mine. I ended up keeping it. <laughs> Oh, the yeah, the one that I did try like selling fish. it over Christmas, yeah. and I wasn't getting much interest in it, so I took it off sale and kept it. <laughs> um, somebody was asking us a few times how many sales we get a day. It varies wildly. It does. Um, yeah, some days can be amazing. Other days, yeah, tumbleweed. Uh, Pleasant Valley picker. Hope those aren't faked. The damn counterfeiters can be pretty good at their dishonest trade. Absolutely. And and the, the fake stuff is getting so hard to tell. I mean, we've all seen on T well, um, what's that program? Fake Britain. They were talking about fake trainers, fake alcohol, um, fake everything, fake iPhones. Uh, and even the experts were really struggling to see what was what on some of the stuff. Paul Foster says, I have the original game and the trains look cheap. Oh, the trains look cheap anyway. Uh, maybe it says Hosbra. <laughs> well, no, I don't know why people have mentioned Hasbro because it, um, it's nothing to do it's, with Hasbro. Yeah, it's Days of Wonder. I mean, it's got the it's got the correct branding on. I mean, if they're going to fake it, surely they'll just the box will just be copied direct from an original. But it is weird that the barcode is bringing up a different uh, game on eBay and Amazon. So that's a bit of a worry. <laughs> Barry says, I could tell that uh, the ticket to ride was fake. There weren't any pictures of the Beatles on it. <laughs> Funny, Barry. Uh, but yeah. yeah, I think... Like I was saying before, if, if it does turn out to be fake, um, these things happen. And, yeah, hard to avoid. The chat might have saved your eBay or Amazon account from being suspended. Yeah, I guess so. If, if we sold them and somebody, you know, somebody complained. Yeah. 
Wow, there's so much chat. I know. So much chat. Can't keep up. Um, two can play that said, are there, is there an app for the jumble sale trails? There used to be, but I think we would mm. say, weren't we, that it's it's um Um well there was one that helped you set them up. Yeah, but I think it told you where where they were, but I think yeah, it's maybe. gone now. So basically we just either it's either word of mouth or we just search jumble trails or garage trails in our area mm. um, oh dave's sending me links and stuff have you got the aussie edition i don't know um steve's just sent you a link as well that's what all the dinging was people are sending us links okay <laughs> we're gonna have to do research yeah i suppose um if that's, the... that's the link that someone someone in the chats put that on there about the board game right. um steve's just copied it in okay. so that we could Look at it later. More research needed. Um, yeah. Perhaps my favourite pickup of the day uh, was this. We went to a stall and the lady was clearing out uh, her collection of music and she had some incredible taste and the condition of it all was amazing and we bought a stack of stuff and she did us a really good deal on it. Some of this stuff, uh, like depth charge, what's this called again? Lust two, yeah. This sort of thing, really nice. Uh, band of skulls, all sorts of really good stuff. Some sealed bits, Ultravox, um, Don Henley sealed album, Leanne Le Havis. Just loads and loads and loads. More band of skulls. So yeah, just gonna really enjoy going through this. More depth charge stuff. Mm. Imagine cool. dragons just yeah loved it so yeah these definitely aren't fake <laughs> no um bexify said how do you figure out if an item of clothing is real or fake i've got some fc uk jeans from from a 50p closing down charity shop i'm not sure how to tell the difference i honestly don't know either to be honest with you but there is a facebook group called real or fake so um <laughs> you can always ask people on there um, I bought some. No, that I think it was last week, wasn't it? I bought some Tommy Hilfiger jeans, and they looked real to me. But it, it, I just, it is a minefield. It is a minefield. Absolutely. See, I bought a um, Hilfiger shirt today as well. But I think sometimes you can just tell, actually, just looking at what the other stuff is that people have got. If they've got loads of stuff that looks like it's. Um, it's fake or they've got loads of designer stuff and they don't look like somebody who would buy designer stuff then generally yeah. you can tell well that um, might be a reason why i got sucked in because these guys were literally just packing away and that was about the last thing sat on the table so if he'd had loads and loads of other random stuff that is commonly faked or was obviously faked there might have been more flags yeah the fact that when i said have you got more and he said yeah i've got five I was kind of thinking, do I ask why? Where are these from? And follow that. But I just and you didn't. You just went, I mean, because also because they were packing up, and you didn't have time to think about it because you were going to go away and think mm. and then go back. These these things happen, and like you know, yeah, just I'm just said, playing it back it in my just, mind. It just shows you that everybody makes. There mistakes. was enough signals for so, me to think maybe this is yeah. dodge. But... So yeah, I'm just going to share this. This is my Tommy Hilfiger shirt that I got today. What was quite cool. Yep. Haven't looked up prices on it yet. But how much was that? Um, I think that was two pounds. Oh, another, another little um, mini fail in a charity shop. Uh, after we went jumbling yesterday, we went off and uh, had some lunch in a nearby town, and then went charity shopping. Now this is the Red Wall Saga, and I've sold this uh, a few times. Now, you wouldn't tell because they're quite tightly packed, but it's missing a book. I yeah. just didn't even think to count. There should be 10 books. Four, five, six, seven. Yeah, there's only nine. Yeah, but she was closing for lunch. So she was throwing. She they were locked, trying to chuck us out. The door. We were locked in at this point. And um, yeah, again, not much Unless, time to really think about it. Maybe this is a set that came out. Before, oh, there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. 10 pictures of books on it but how would you get another book in there i, I, I think you put oh, i don't know 
You see what I mean? No, you could look easy. Oh. Yeah. See? Mini fail. Anyway, I mean, are you? Do you think you might be able to source just the one? Yeah, I can. I can pick up the other one for for a couple of pounds. In fact, because this was on my mind, I was seeing Red Bull Saga, saga books. So the last charity shop we went in, mm. they had three or four. Yeah. I bet I probably could have picked it up for fifty p. Um, probably. Anyway, this set. Yeah. There you go, Red Bull Saga. Um, I saw somebody got a used set of ten. Got forty five pounds for a used set of ten, but the normal is around twenty to twenty five. Uh, I think I've sold this for 30 before. Yeah. So it's not a massive fail because I could, you know, get one for a couple of pounds delivered or I think about £2.50 I saw well, on eBay itself. So. M Mass Michael has just sent us um, $5 for the fake board, yeah. board game fund, which will fund the extra book. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so Thank much. You. you really don't have to. <laughs> um, it's an interesting question, though, about what i do with those what do, if it's proved that they are fake clearly they won't be going on ebay if they are they clearly won't be going on amazon so yeah, what at the end it's just... can i sell them on facebook because i'm still selling it's it's really oh, no, it's a gray area because we're 50 pound we'll down now assuming they're fake taking the back and trying to luck at, yeah at a boot sale with them They'll probably hold it's, on to them for a while. <laughs> it's a good question. Um, well, I'm just going to grab random things. This is nice. Bit of gaming, uh, retro gaming for people. Time Crisis 3, just wonderful condition. Just, you know. <laughs> Kelly says, sell them fake book. <laughs> is that what they call it now? Fakebook.com. <laughs> Look at that. Minty fresh. Absolutely love it. It's got its G-Con 2 gun and the extra lead. Um, and I've sold this on Amazon before. I think I got 30, 30, 35 for it before. I paid a fiver for that. Um, now, at the jumble sale, uh, they had two boxes full of DVDs. They said it was five, four or five for a pound, whatever. I was picking out, I found a couple that I wanted. I was trying to find enough to just give them a pound. And then he said, or you can have both boxes full for a pound. So I thought, well, I'll stop rummaging. I might as well just take the lot. So it was just really weird. They were in total don't want it, don't want anything left mode, weren't they? This jumble cell. Mm. Um, so we ended up with there's about I don't know, 40 odd in here. It's a few nice ones. That seems to sell for fairly good money. Well, not not big money, like about a fiver or so, It's which was weird. Snow White, A Tale of Terror with Sigourney Weaver in it. Um, it's a few Disney bits and bobs in there that will sell easily. And then there's a, a box that I'm not even going to pick up, a more, more like this sort of size box. And they just gave it all to me for a pound. So what's not worth selling individually, we'll probably go, we're going to do another boot sale, a, a clear up thing. Now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and what doesn't sell there, we'll just send it all to Ziffit and Magpie. Yeah, and also Pleasant Valley Pick and said maybe donate the games to a Christmas toy drive. Yeah, it'll be interesting to... They're not going to worry. I mean, it's still playable. They're not going to worry if it's if it's fake. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Matt says, can you give a shout out to my wife, Gemma, who is watching too? Hi, Gemma. Hello, Gemma. <laughs> Good to see you. Um, Max Tweeter thinks that you look like Sean Locke, which is probably quite a nice thing for you because you like Sean Locke, don't you? He's a very funny man. C <laughs> uh, and Wag. C and Wag? Wag? Sean. Dog. Sean, Sean Dog. <laughs> Sean Dog. <laughs> See what what were you saying? See 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 and Sean Dog. Yeah, that name says I bought <laughs> I bought eight thousand oh, magic. Sean Dog. <laughs> That's Sean Dog. Yeah, I bought eight thousand Magic the Gathering cards today. How do I tell the good ones? Um, there's a video on my channel. If you search Nick Hill's Magic the Gathering, it'll probably pop up. Um, it shows you the little symbol. They have a little symbol on them all, which is either black for common, silver for uncommon, gold for rare. That's a good starting point. Pull out the ones that have the gold symbol and look them up. 
is the easiest way. But check out that video because that explains it in more detail. Um, what should I share? What should I share? Do you want to share something else? <laughs> Peter wants to know what beer you're drinking. Um, what am I drinking? Holston Pills. Nick is making me thirsty with that beer. Time to go to the fridge. Shall I? Shall I share something? Yeah. Okay. You might have to stand up and show this. <laughs> it's a dress and it's long. Um, it's only H and M, but the style is very much on trend with the sort of shirt dress. Good luck with the GCSEs, whoever that was. It's just gone. They've got oh. to go. They've got GCSEs. Oh man! Oh, that was I Ellen didn't last catch year. Oh, hang on. You've still there we go. Someone's just said Nick was taken for a ride. <laughs> oh, that joke. Loads of people have been saying oh, that okay. joke. It's very funny. funny. Yeah, anyway, it's um really, really pretty shirt dress. It was only two pounds. So, right. Yeah. It's just your colour. Beautiful. Uh but while you're standing there and it's something tall, there's a um, an H and M jumpsuit I got as well. I can't go back to show you the full length of it because there's junk in the way. What I don't understand is this was on the same stall. This was on her rail and she charged me two pounds. This was on the um floor, you know, on like in a pile rummage pile that i was trying to think of the word rummage in a rummage pile and i paid 50p for this and i thought it was actually nicer than the dress it's a jumpsuit can you show this try it on says lisa <laughs> i'll take one off your hands says ellen if if you want to um message me on find us on facebook and drop me a message there you go yeah it's a jumpsuit I it's can't got get far back enough no. Yeah, it's so a jumpsuit. Yeah. Oh, it's got it's, it's got trousers. legs. It's got legs, and it's really pretty. It's only H and M, but I just really love the colour, and I think that's a, an easy sale. That you, one. You could you could but be that, camouflaged I just in a bush. Understand it. it was like on the rail, two pounds, and then I picked that one up, expecting her to say, "Oh no, that was meant to be on the rail," because it was gorgeous and um, fifty p. So. You could climb like a fruit this tree. This was fifty p as well. Look at this. And it's a it's <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, I'm ignoring you. Um, this is Marks and Spencer's, and it's like got it's a cape, and it's got like a huge wool content. Fifty p. Wow! But I paid two pound for the dress. Go figure. But as I was saying, right, you could <laughs> climb a tree, like a fruit tree, when it's in blossom, and you you disappear. Oh, Amy said, "What size is the jumpsuit?" It's one of those label H and M labels where it doesn't show you the uk size so it's euro 38 but there's no uk size on it so if you know what that is because off the top of my head i don't i'd have to google it cool so you've no idea on what you're going to price these at no no i don't oh. ebay noises oh I was just having a look at this label. So oh, a me. tiny, a little yeah, like. Um, oh yeah, it's a size ten, Amy. Euro thirty-eight is a size ten. Just sold a really random little, uh, tiny little blow lamp. Oh, cool. Um, right. What else? Oh, I picked up this at the uh, the jumble sale. They had this. Oh my goodness, that's too heavy. It's a Casio. Every what? time I hear Casio, I just want to sing that. Um... Casio, nearly dropped it. <laughs> that song. George Ezra. Yeah, George Ezra. Um, they wanted 20. Um, I didn't want to pay that because it's it wouldn't have been worth it. Um, it was still there at the end, and we agreed on a tenner. Um, I'm going to get 30 to 40. I might push it to 40. Um, but they've been selling around the 30. Um, but it's quite a nice one, but obviously it'll be quite expensive to ship. Um, so hopefully I'll get a local pickup like I did last time with that big organ I had. <laughs> <laughs> so there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, if it was um if there was canned laughter right now, it would be going, oh, oh. <laughs> Um, George said that's Amy's size and she's going to send me an Insta message. That's cool, George. Thanks. Um, 
chat's moving so quick tonight I can barely keep up with you all oh, i've got a set of these um we had these when ellen was a kid biff and chipper no <laughs> biff, biff, chip and kipper isn't it <laughs> biff and chipper biff chip and kipper books so they're like kids learning books they're really good i've uh, got the whole set she said it's missing one i think yeah Stu, i did get my ignoring badge in the girl guides <laughs> Did a good job of ignoring all the girls moaning. <laughs> Sorry if we're missing questions, guys. It's impossible to keep up. Yeah, Nick looks about as bored of my clothing as I am when he goes on about board games. Rude. <laughs> um, what else? What else? Oh, yeah. Jumble sale again. I got this. Oh, we've got to share our little gift that someone sent. Oh, yeah, that's that's a definite for later. This is Scalextrix Porsche Power. Um, but it's got like two sets in there. There's so much track in there. It's the Porsche Power set and I think an earlier set. But the reason I bought it, it was only a pound that they just wanted it gone. The reason I, the reason I went is because the cars are in it, the track i still got a load of track from before that didn't sell, so I'll probably do a big bundle. Um, these Porsche Le Mans cars, see that? There's a yellow one. Uh, I've seen that on completed. It's got some really bad transfer work. Look how they've been put on. That's just dope. So I'll probably try and peel the transfers off. Uh, these bits are actually printed. But somebody managed to get about 15 for that car on its own. This one has sold anywhere up to about a tenner. So I might do the pair if they're working, but it's got the power supply with this. So I'll be able to set that up, quickly test the cars. They're so quick to test. Um, they seem all right. So, yeah, it was worth it just for the cars. And then I might do all of the track on the local pickup auction or uh, Facebook post or something. So, yeah, that's cool. It's got the vintage ones in as well, but I think... I think these might be a little bit knackered. They're not looking in very good condition at all. But we'll see. So that was a pound. Sandwell Mobile says, Hi, Nick and Andrea. Thanks for doing your videos. You've inspired me to become a reseller. And, um, it, and it will well for me been to four. I'm not, sorry, I don't know if I'm reading that. <coughs> Um, been to four boot sales today and I think it meant went well for me maybe um, went to four boot sales today and picked up lots I will send some of my 76k subs your way cool 76,000 <laughs> subs <laughs> wow what sort of channel do you have Shall I have a look yeah that's amazing, 76,000. I didn't read that very well either, so I'm very sorry. No, I was reading it. It didn't actually make any sense <laughs> what, was, what was written. Oh, look at this. Sandwell, Sandwell Mobile. Mobile scratch cards. Oh, you, <laughs> yeah. Hang on. There you go. That's who it is. <laughs> that's, that. that's who that is. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, Give yeah. our give our channel a cool. shout out. Yeah, Ooh, and um, be great. everybody head over and um, give Sandwell Mobiles a follow as well. That's cool. I would reckon the old scale Extrix cars are better, maybe, but these ones look quite knackered. I'll test them and find out. Uh, the new ones aren't as well made, and the traction is a bit rubbish. They get clogged up with dust really quickly. Okay, they um, seem they seem to sell those Porsche Le Mans cars, so. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, it's random chaos that said earlier. Got my GCSEs tomorrow. Can't oh, okay. can't wait. Got to get some rest. <laughs> can't wait with a yeah, sarcastic face. Yeah, you'll be fine. Yeah, you will. And it's nerve wracking. Yeah, Ellen went through all of that last year, and it's just. What, once yeah. you're in there, you just gotta go for it. Really, you can't put any more knowledge in. So you just gotta relax and and do your best. Exactly. You've done all the hard work, so it's just about putting it all down on paper now <coughs> we've got so much gear we haven't looked at oh got to share this oh my goodness it's 10 past nine. This... Oh no it's not it's five past nine that clock's fast 
this may turn out to be one of the finds of day of the day. I nearly, from the same stall, bought um, a crate full of manga books, a crate full of Ben 10 toys, and then from another stall, I nearly bought about 12 Imaginex play sets. But I'd have completely filled the cut. We've never got it in. We have we had my sister with us as well. Yeah, no. <laughs> but I was no, restrained. But I did buy, a, this bag is absolutely full of Beyblade stuff. I've looked up a couple of these quickly before we went live. Um, some of these have been selling for up to about 20. There's one, two, three. <laughs> George four, says, don't worry, you don't need any GCSEs for flipping tap. <laughs> five. <laughs> six. Can you hold those, dear? Thank you. Am I the glamorous assistant again today? So seven varied different Beyblades sealed in the packet, um, which will be anywhere from sort of 10 to 20. And then in here, there's got to be another, I don't know, 20 or 30 uh, Beyblades. Now, I had a bunch of these a while back, and I listed them individually, started them at £20 each, got a lot of interest but no takers. Um and ended up selling them at a tenner each. So if these are decent and sell at that sort of money, there's loads of them. There's all sorts of other bits and bobs. Loads of the spinners and the little rip cords. It's a huge, huge bundle. And I paid 15 for the lot. Um, but I'll get my money back on probably one of these that goes for decent money. And then, yeah. Very happy with that. I think these tornado ones weren't great. They're probably even sealed, maybe about a tenner. Or was it these that were? I can't remember now. <laughs> Too much information to retain. But yeah, really nice. Unusual to get them mint in the box. Let's see if I can see a date on this. I think these are early 2000s. Oh no, this one's later. 20, let's say 2010. Yeah, 2010. So that one's not a particularly old one. Okay, but that is a really cool pickup. Oh, and one more thing. Shall I share one more thing? I know we've we've barely scratched the surface, but um, at the jumble sale, I bought oh, uh, uh, that, which I'm thinking I'm going to keep. Oh, is that the telescope? <laughs> one of these. Weeks, so I'm just going to put my back out, twisting and pulling. Knock me out. Um, I paid two pounds for it, which was crazy, really. It's a big Tesco telescope. I briefly looked into its resale value, and it's not great. Um, so for what I would get back if I resold it, I think I'm going to keep it. And um, we go camping with our family we get the extended family and we all go camping together it's such a laugh and i thought imagine taking this and getting all the kids you could barely get all our stuff our camping stuff in the car let alone get that in as I'll well squeeze <laughs> it in no problem but getting all the, the kids and the the twins and that to, to stargaze in the evenings would be amazing so yeah two pounds for a telescope so i'll show you what so i'll show you the size of my scope Actually, <laughs> I can't see much hassle to get out of the box. But yeah, I think it's a keeper. It's got a really big tripod as well and all that good stuff. Right. Are you done? <laughs> what? I don't know. I've barely had a word in edgeways for the last God knows. <laughs> Have you not... Do you want to share some more? Well, I've got a big pile down here, but it's it's getting a bit late and people are waiting for quiz, so probably not. Do you want more stuff or do you want a quiz? I'll just show a couple of more things. Out the same pile of um, 50p stuff, I found that. £49 um, yeah. brand new, still with its tag on. It's a little top shop dress. Um, and still... I was just, I soon I, I didn't even know how much she was charging for the stuff on the mat. So I was just picking it up, thinking it would, would be like about two pounds each, and I thought, oh, I'll definitely pay two pounds for that. And uh, yeah, fifty p again. 
that's okay that's we've good. got quiz both quiz stuff more stuff 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 let quiz, me show you my stuff. cool bag i've never seen this brand before i'm hoping it's a kind of expensive it's Hold pieces on. anyone but seen look, this before let me just share pieces look how cool this bag is it's furry oh my God, it's so soft it's so lovely so nice it feels like a teddy I'm, bear i'm in love with this bag <laughs> So um, no idea of the value, but um, hi yeah, Billy. It was worth Billy's giving it a go. Billy's just joined us. You haven't missed a thing. We've been we've just been waiting for the last hour for you to turn up. <laughs> um, quiz stuff stuff quiz please. Quiz about stuff stuff the quiz stuff 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 oh, stuff, stuff stuff maybe stuff. a quiz about stuff. Ah. <sighs> right, we're going to do a little yeah, bit more. Yeah, I think more. I've done all my interest in stuff. The rest is kind are you of all, of the you're all stuffed the rest is one of them all right then one last thing and then we'll do a quiz um i shared on instagram a post uh well where, where i got excited because i bought a bundle of playmobil at the jumble sale I paid a tenner the lot and the first box i opened the first few bits that i pulled out were still on the sprues and it's a real word that um, all the fun of buying. So buying for my daughter at the weekend, Topshop, much more expensive than H&M. Yeah, I know. Yeah. That's why I was, you know, gobsmacked when I found out what the price of that was. A new nunchuck sealed in the box. Oh. Nice. Yeah, so for my tenor, I got a little Land Rover set, which isn't uh, new in the, on the sprues. Um, damn it says pieces is a jeans as in they make jeans this little helicopter rescue set which was the one that i opened first and yeah i got quite excited because all of these parts are on the sprues so the sprues are the little bits that kind of hold everything in place um but yeah it's weird they've shoved extra bits and bobs in the boxes so this has got the helicopter set and then randomly horses lego big lego technics guys it's completely random um but yeah a lot of the stuff was never taken off the sprues sprues day so there was those uh two and this is really nice. Oh, Carl, Carmen's asking me, did I do a video of the clothes I've got last week? No, I did No, not. Andrew doesn't do videos. <laughs> you I promised, haven't... you promised our wonderful viewers. I know I did, and I was really, really busy last week. Well, it was bank holiday, so we didn't even do work on Monday, did we? We did family stuff. Um, and then I was out most of Tuesday, out most of Wednesday, out most of Friday. So She's been gallivanting. Gallivanting around all so, week. Um, yeah. On, out on a jolly. Um, so, yeah, there's that really nice like holiday home thing, I think it is. Um, and there's more. We're nearly done with stuff. Quiz is coming. Oh, a nice little Western wagon. And oops uh cabri's roses pot filled with mainly figures figures and animals so yeah i mean my tenor is safe with this pot because there's prob <laughs> probably 30 figures thank in you it. diane you just summed up what i was thinking nick you need to take a breath you're like a kid in a toy shop <laughs> i can't help it <laughs> What can I say? Um, I'm exhausted by the energy that you're emitting. <laughs> i tell you what it is. I am absolutely shattered. I barely slept last night. I barely slept the night before. I'll tell before. you what it is. It's probably mostly that, that beer. You so I've had no sleep, really. And I've, I've just had a pint of beer. That's what it is. Yeah. Plus, I am genuinely excited about all this tap. Um, I was going to say, fig Playmobil figures, kids' figures are really popular. If you get like a little bunch of kids... <laughs> This is sounding weird. Um, yeah, they just sell really well. And there's, what there's, is this live stream tonight? They've got there's got to be twenty or thirty in there. Bunch of accessories. 
Beer and adrenaline, Stu said. Yeah, I think you're about right, Stu. That's what I'm living on right now. Beer and adrenaline. Nick, is Nick a big, big kid when it Crazy comes to Mike toys? Crazy Mike says, I'm here for the quiz, isn't it? <laughs> There's a question you we can answer. We will get to that very shortly. Yeah, you can answer that. Is Nick a big kid when it comes... Nick's just a big kid, full stop. <laughs> full stop. Well, who the hell wants to grow up? Seriously? Well, exactly. It's all... What What is it they say? Um, growing up is a, is a trap or something. Don't grow up, it's a trap. Is that a popular phrase, is it? Something like that. <laughs> Anyway, we're going to move on to quiz. Quiz. Because. Stuff is done. Um, if Carol's still in the chat, and um, or if she, if Carol was in the chat to start with, I don't know. Um, but if you're watching it back, Carol. Quick bit of stuff. Oh, no. for goodness sake. Nice Spyro game. This I thought would be really good. Sealed, connect, gun, stringer. <sighs> but it's only about a tenner's worth. Carry on. We were sent a lovely present this week. We were, yes. Are you quite done, dear? Yeah, I'm sorry. You're not going to start grabbing more stuff to show people. <sighs> Help me. <laughs> um, yes, we were sent this by our lovely viewer, and I follow her on Instagram. She follows me, and we chat often. Um, Carol Sampson, thank you so much for sending this to us. That um, and we said that we would do this yes thank you very much indeed it is so kind of you these were sent through they arrived a couple of days ago so we're going to use these tonight yeah yes don't encourage andrea to slap me no i would never i would never slap him i can't get in these yeah, you might need a craft knife we've got a knife my mm. knives are like somewhere behind i that think you buried it in mountain <laughs> Oh, my God. Dearing me. Hang on. Oh, there we go. We're in. We're in. So, we're going to do a quiz. I don't know how long. It's already 17 minutes past. Oh, Andrew says, tell me it's not a music quiz today. I'm sorry. I can't tell you that. Because it is. <laughs> it is rock and pop trivia. If I can get in it. Okay, so... If you are new to these Sunday shows, we usually wrap up with a quiz. If you have no interest in quizzing or taking part in this. Yeah, the reselling content is now finished. <laughs> you can sign off. We don't mind, uh, you know, if you enjoy quizzes, however, this is where the fun starts. Yeah. How this works is we're going to ask questions. Andrea, are you going to be uh, Carol Smiley for us? If you like. Have you got something I can write on? Well, underneath that pile is our is notebook. notebook yeah. Right, hold that. I'll, um... Oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> um, right. Just park these on my pile of fake games. <laughs> if they turn out to be fake, I might do a little, um, I don't know, whether I want to do a video about that, but it's it's something that needs to be talked about. You know, I got duped. Many people... Oh, Many yeah, others yeah. have. It's um, it's a serious problem, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Right, you can use that if you want. Oh, good. That's that's better than a post-it note. Okay. Okie dokie. Does this mean if I'm Carol Smiley, can I play along? Yeah, you can play along. Oh, what I'm going to drop? What I've actually got my reading glasses here somewhere. <laughs> Watch, uh, they're, they're they're really different. <laughs> They're so different, it, he's had to put a sticker on them. <laughs> I got the same frames, right? I had my reading glasses made in the same frames. And the woman, to be fair, the woman in the optician said, that's not a good idea. Just have them like a different colour or something. I'm no. like, no, 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 I like the black. Because he quite often, well, he before you put a sticker on them, well, you forgot and then you were like... I drive all the way to London yeah. and, and spent a night at a gig in my reading glasses and wondered why my head was hurting. Right, okay. Oh. <clears throat> Okay. Oh, some of these are true or false. We can't do true or false. Right, quickly, how this works, oh, we're going to ask a Gary question. Gary Rutter says, what yeah. do you use on your phone to get a notification? It's the eBay app. Just, yeah, download the eBay app, and then you get a ka-ching when, when you've sold something. Yeah. <laughs> where, where did Nick go? Who is this guy? 
<laughs> so we ask a question, you guys are playing along. So the first correct answer we see, Andrew's decision is final, um, gets a point at the end when we've finished asking questions. The person with the most points wins. Sometimes the order that you see the chat is not the same as ours. It's the first correct answer we see on our screen. So, okay, here we go. You've got to be quick. If you don't know the answer, you can Google it. There's no rules against Googling. Fastest Andrew Google first. has got Google fired up. Andrew says. is already on Google predicting the question. <laughs> Here we go. Which band were the first act to play at Live Aid? Ooh. The first, the main Live that Aid. That's a good question. I don't know if I'd have oh. got this. Oh, I think I know. Is yeah. it? Yes. Oh, good quizzing. Uh, Beatles predate Live Aid by a good, like, 10 years or so. Uh, Ooh, no, 20 years. coming in now. Okay. The, uh, there's loads of correct answers in. The correct answer is status quo. The and that first. Was Emily Bradforks. Emily Bradforks. Just before Peter Cummins on our screen. I know it's different on yours. Sorry, guys. Uh, Gimboid was correct. Houdini's long box was correct. Barry's correct. Ryan's correct. Well done if you got that. Awesome. Can you change that to live chat at the top now? Uh huh. Lovely. Um, okay. Right. This is a year question. So we want a year. You are only allowed one attempt at this. If you guess a year, you can't keep going like. 85, 86, 87, or whatever. One year and one year only. In which year did the jams going underground hit the number one spot? Ooh. Mm. Ooh. One guess from everybody, please. You will be disqualified if you have more than one. We've got 1978. Oh, can Ahmad help me try and show these answers because they're not showing? <laughs> um, we've got 1978. That is wrong. 86 is wrong. 76 is wrong. Uh, Jackie's 82 is wrong. Let me just check. Uh, AIDS 82 is also wrong. 73 is wrong. 82. Lucy T. And Andrea are correct with 1980. No, 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 oh, no. no. I, I'm going wrong. <laughs> Lucy T was very close with 81, as with that Andrea. Was it 1980? It is 1980, but I haven't oh. seen the correct answer yet. Show uh, 82. 82. I, um, I, I'm denied between 80 and 81. Now I've given the correct. Oh, there we go. Alexandra Weeks. Oh, well done, Alexander. It's the first correct answer I can find on our screen. Sorry, Lisa, to get you all excited. Oh, I was excited too. Oh, an art journey for 81 as well. Well, if we were on Popmaster, Ken Breeze would go one year one out. One year <laughs> out. Yeah, so Alexandra Weeks, definitely the first on our screen okay. with 1980. There's a yeah. few people. Kelly's got it now. Ryan's yeah. got it. Well, it's because I've said it. <laughs> Oh, good question. Which singer released Ariel, her first album in 12 years, in 2005? Ooh. You'll know oh, this. Oh, 2005? Yeah. Was it that long ago, is it? Yeah. Yeah, it is. We had we stocked it in the shop. It's that long ago. Mm. Straight in there, Peter. Well done. Good grief. Kate Bush. Yeah, that's mad how long ago that is already. Okay. Loads of people getting that. Well done if you knew. Kate Bush, we've got Stu Mandry, Houdini's Longbox, Joan, Gimboid, Emily, Alexandra again, Indie Discs. Well done to everyone who knew that. Um, oh, I wouldn't have got that. Okay, this is an interesting one. Which American singer was known as the Man in Black? Oh, is that? Um... Yeah, I didn't know that. 
How did you know that? That's cool. So which American singer was known as the man in black? That is Stu Mandry. He's not the man in black. But... <laughs> <laughs> Stu well, Mandry, be, you know, Stu Mandry be, known as the man in black. Um, where's, where's that? Look? Oh, yeah, Johnny Cash. <laughs> Stu Mandry, first on our screen just before Emily uh, and Houdini's Longbox and Gimboid, LJ. Lots of people knowing that. I didn't know that. That's new to me. Here's one that I would have got in, in an instant, and I think you will as well. And a lot of the chat will know this, so be quick. Here it comes. Who sang about a stupid girl in 96? I bought this single the day it came out. And then I bought the album the day it came out. And then I ordered the video collection from our price. And how long did it take to, to come in? Weeks and weeks and blooming weeks. And he just kept coming in and I kept looking. This was before we were couple, before we started working together. I was a regular in the shop, the record shop Andrew worked in. I ordered the, the video collection of the garbage album. And I was in every weekend and they all tried to avoid me because I'd be like, oh. And I'd, and I'd, everyone would run away <laughs> and there would be me going, I'm really sorry, it hasn't come in yet. Okay, so the answer is garbage. Uh, as most of you seemingly knew, it wasn't Depeche Mode. Is that because I said I'd know this in a flash? Not Depeche Mode. Aid Waldron was first on our screen with Garbage just before Emily and Pete and Houdini's Longbox. Uh, Crazy Mike, Phil Whitehead, well done. Um, okay. Should we do another year? Loads of the year answers get blocked, though. I'm not going to avoid the year questions. Okay. Oh, yes, great. Wonderful artist. Who was walking down Madison in 1991? Ooh. Wonderful song. Yeah. Oh, I really want to listen to that now. Walking down Madison. Da, 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 da. Who was walking down Madison in 1991? See, I was going to say what Peter's just said. Yeah, Peter's right. Oh, well, I didn't write it down, but I was going to say that. The wonderful Kirsty McColl. Uh, yeah. Walking down Madison. Lots and lots of so random that's answers. Peter then. Oh, Peter, you've got two points. You're in the lead. Do you want to do a rundown? Is it only Peter on two? Yeah, we've got um, Emily, Alexandra, um, Stu, Aid on one, and Peter is in the lead on two. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, kind of related to the last uh, artist, the last, ans last answer. Is it the Pogues? <laughs> <laughs> Who was the lead singer of the Pogues? <laughs> um, yeah, so who is the lead singer of the Pogues? And you'll all know why that is related to Kirsty McColl. Yes. No, it's not the Pogues. Who was the lead singer of the Pogues? Uh, Emily. No, but it isn't. I'm going to have to say oh, it Oh, it's not Sean. Sh Emily's put Sean McGowan. Yeah, we can't Sorry, give Sorry, Emily, I can't do that. So the next, who was first then? The answer is Shane McGowan. It's the, the Hairy Slimmer. The Hairy Slimmer? I love that name. That's Hairy brilliant. Slimmer. Hairy Slimmer. Love that. How's the slimming going, Harry Slimmer? <laughs> okay, this is another nickname question that I would have not known. This is news to me. A nickname? <laughs> yeah. Which rock and roll singer was known as The Killer? Oh. Never heard of I it. I don't know. Might be a fastest Google first. Get on Google. I don't know that one. Young, young does says wrong it was me on our screen i can share this in a minute we'll share this the, the uh, chat you'll see that sometimes it comes up differently here to what you're seeing jerry lee lewis was it really yeah well done uh who was that first lj i think where are we going uh lj lj jerry lee lewis what i'll do um we'll share the chat for a bit so you can see 
and compare our screen against yours. Why it varies, I don't know, but it does. So you can see yourselves chatting. Say hi to your mums. Um, there you go. Right, so we'll bring it down to the end. That's another year question. I'm going oh, to avoid night, Kelly. See you, Kelly. Thanks for popping in. Oh, yes. Love this band. How are Scottish duo Charlie and Craig Reed better known? Oh, are they the... Yes. Yes, they are. How are Scottish duo Charlie and Craig Reed better known? It's not the Depeche Mode. <laughs> Proclaimers, yes. Oh, everyone knew that. Look at that. Screen full of proclaimers. So if I scroll back now, you'll see we had Tom with Depeche Mode, about as wrong as you could get. <laughs> Emily is first. Emily, with... oh, you've tied with Peter now. Oh, pulling ahead. Emily and Peter Cummins. Ooh. Where, so this, we want the country. Don't start guessing yet. Where are electronic duo Roiksop from? Mm. I love that band. Well, one album in particular. Was it called Melody AM? There's also Roiksop albums today. Yeah. Not um, not France, Lil and Elf. Not Brazil. Oh, I'm going to have a guess, but I'm not sure. It's probably I'm going to have to scroll back. Hold on. Um, yes, Andrea oh, got it. Bang that was a on. Total guess. It's not Brazil, it's not Iceland, not Sweden, not China, not Ireland. Sweden again, Germany. All of these are wrong. Holland, Germany, 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 Sweden, Sweden. My second guess was Sweden. Norway. That is Mark Wright. Mark Wright? Yeah. What, the actual Mark Wright? I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure you are the actual Mark Wright, but I'm, you know, there's another one. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Fastest to type this is going to get it. How is drummer Ring... Ri <laughs> I just gave it away. <laughs> Forget that question. I meant to say Richard Starkey and I started to say Ringo Starr. Scrap that question. <laughs> um, that's a year question. We don't want to do that. Which football team took blue is the color to number five in 1972 so i want the name of a football team which football team took blue is the color to number five in yes andrew's got it think of a team that plays in blue basically <laughs> oh look at them coming in lots and lots of chelsea's a few everton's in there tottenham the correct answer is chelsea um so if we scroll back sorry oh, you got the oh no you didn't do the a few ringo stars, stars coming in. <laughs> uh wasn't everton tom max tweeter is the first correct one right i'm just going to pop out of screen show again okay so there's still emily and peter on two in the lead but this is wide open Mm. Who sang You Can Call Me Al in 1987? Easy one. You I've can written call it down, but you know, me you know Al. I know that one. Na, 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 na. Yes, Peter. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that puts you in the lead again, Peter. Oh, oh my word, it's gone balmy. Yep. Most people getting this right. Paul Simon, but first on our screen is Peter Cummins, putting him on three. Let's try and find a harder one. Right. Kind of got a one in five chance if you don't know the answer. You might as well have a guess. Which of the Spice Girls autobiography is called Learning to Fly? 
which of the Spice Girls autobiography is called Learning to Fly? Pick a Spice Girl, any Spice Girl. I don't know, actually. Okay, we've got, I can't see a correct answer yet. Sporty, Jerry, Scary, Baby, Jerry, Melcy, Scary, Emma sure Bunton. It's not Jerry. Now, I'm going to give it, because I didn't specify how you were to identify the Spice Girl, to Ken with Posh. Oh. It was Victoria Peckham or Peckham. Peckham? <laughs> <laughs> not so posh spice victoria peckham <laughs> uh yeah i would have accepted victoria uh posh spice any of those but ken mcmillan got that i didn't even know she'd written an autobiography somebody else was just saying that they were first on the last question it's what comes up on our screen and as you saw when we shared it it probably varies from yours it's just how it is i'm afraid okay, so that was ken was it yeah ken uh what did i say mcmillan <laughs> People laughing at Victoria Peck. <laughs> Del Boy's new new girlfriend. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Victoria Peckham, this time next year, Rodney. Yes, Peter. Rodney, you dipstick. Okay. Uh, you've got to laugh. That would be a great drag name, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll we'll go into a bit of rap, shall we? No, thanks. <laughs> you'll you'll get this. Oh, well, I, I, I reckon you'll get this. Which rapper's real name is Curtis James Jackson III? Oh, yeah, I do know that. Which rapper's real name is Curtis James Jackson III? There you go. Yes, Andrew was straight in there. It's not Eminem. It's not 21 Pilots. That's not a rapper. Not Eminem. It is 50 Cent. Michelle. Michelle is off the mark. Oh, now this this might be tricky if you're watching in America or another country. This is a very British thing, I think. Which children's character? So we want a children's TV character. Had the number had the uh, Christmas number one single in two thousand. Children's TV character had the Christmas UK number one single in 2000. <gasps> wow. I'm, I'm writing this down. I haven't looked at the chat yet. People are saying Mr. Blobby. That was a fair bit earlier. Can you tell me if this is right? Yes. Good. Andrea and the first answer we got. Oh, no. Liverpool Delta said Ross there, but can't, that can't be an answer Ross? to children's <laughs> TV characters. Tom Bibby with Bob the Builder. Awesome. So you and Tom get a point. <laughs> Give yourself a point. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, that's far too easy. Should we do an easy one? No, I'll just go mad. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, can you name the drummer of the police? Oh, no. <laughs> yes, you can. Yes, you can. You know it. The American one. The drummer of the police, please. It's not coming to me. You'll know it when you see it. No, says Aid. Uh, it's not Dave. No, he was in Bon Jovi. <laughs> there we go. Peter. Oh, Peter's running away with this. Oh. Stuart Copeland. Yes. Great. Oh, you're right. Great I, I answer. Yeah, Peter has got four points. Yeah. Right, shall we have three more questions? Three question warning. Uh, we're going to do three more, which means everybody who has a point already can catch Peter. Emily and only Emily could overtake Peter. Mm -hmm. Okay. Whose 2002 album come away with me yeah. won eight grammys a really good album actually who's 2002 yep andrew's got it album called come away with me won eight grammys not kylie it's not katie I've melua seen, seen it come up. it's not katie melua but i can see where you're going 
Are we giving it for that? That does look like a typo to me. That's a typo. Max Tweeter with Nor Nora Jopnes. <laughs> um, yeah, that gives you two points, Max. Uh, yeah, Nora Jones. <clears throat> oh, another great band. It was a band. It's a band. Bit of a clue there. Which 80s band, now is it down, released an album called London Nil Hull 4? Oh, is it? You know oh, this. I don't know. No. Oh. No, I'd be confident in your convictions. You know this. Well, I was going to put that, but I think no. It's, no, it's. it's it is it kind is, of that, yes. but it, yeah. Yeah. Yes, Andrew's got it. Okay, we've got answers coming in. Uh, Duran Duran, The Who, Bon Jovi, Duran Duran, Shawadi Wadi, Wham, The Clash. Pete Harrison is the first. No, oh, yes, 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 yes. Pete Harrison, a fraction before Peter Cummins with the correct answer of The House Martins. Yeah, I'm guessing it's because you were typing so quickly. It looks like that, but we'll give that to you. Yeah. We'll we'll screen share again for the for the final uh question. I'll show you what we saw on our screen for that one as well. So there you can see Pete was in with um slight typo. The house matins. <laughs> <laughs> Peter was almost in again. Uh, so well done if you knew that. Love the house martins. Never heard of them, Michelle. Where have you been? Oh, look them up on oh, uh, Michelle on YouTube. Um, is in the the US, isn't she? I were they think big so. In the no. I don't think they were big in the US. Were the Beautiful South big in the US, Michelle? Because that's kind of what they went on to be. Pretty much. Okay, so this is final question. You can see now on your screens. Let's make it a little bit bigger so you can read it clearly. Oh, hang on, that's not working. Hold on make you wider okie dokie so final question of the yes fat boy slim was in the house martins norman cook he was the bass player right i'm going to find one that's going to be a little bit tricky for the final um okay good question this which comedian had a part to play in the number one hit, Dizzy? Uh, that's all. I'm, there's more to the question on here. I'm keeping it a little bit tricky. Which, Again, it's another very UK question. Isn't yeah. It? Which comedian had a part to play in the number one hit, Dizzy? Oh, I can see a correct answer. Oh, there's lots of correct answers. Yeah, sorry, this is very um, British. The correct answer is Vic Reeves, and I think it was Aid. Uh, yeah, we had Jasper Carrot and Ken Dodd, and Aid gets on the board. No, Aid's already got one. Oh, he's already Aid's on board. Got okay, two points. There you go. Okay, fantastic. Right, so there you go. Back with us. Right, so the scores are Peter Cummins has one with four points and then you get the extra five points for winning. Yep. So you've got a whole nine tap points. Nine tap points And then for Peter. On two points each are Emily, Aid and Max Tweeter. And then on one point each are Alexandra, Stu, The Hairy Slimmer, LJ, Mark Wright, Ken McMillan, Michelle Lathan, Tom Bibby, and Pete Harrison. So well done. Well done if you got a point or points tonight. Well done if you got any of those questions correct. Um, we might mix up a bit next week and do something else like general knowledge. And remember, the quiz is just for fun. If you don't enjoy quizzes, what are you doing still watching? <laughs> um, we love quizzing. It's fun. You get to learn stuff and, you know, who doesn't love a competition exactly so tap points are coming to all the people that got points spend them wisely put them in an investment fund or do whatever you want to do with them because i'm sure their value is going up yeah 
Mm. Of course. A film, a film quiz, please, sometime. Okay. We could probably do that. Yeah, anyway, again, thank you, Carol, for those. They were really good. I mm. um, got most of those right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, That's no, my kind of quiz. No wonder you like them. Yes, thank you. Carol, was it you said? Yes. If you're watching, Carol, if you're watching this on Catch Up, thank you so much. We are always blown away with the generosity of our community. And, yeah, we will enjoy going through these over the next few weeks and months. We may even take them camping. <laughs> yes rock and pop quiz so thank you all for joining us yep thank you guys um yeah. Hope you i will I'll, I'll try i'll endeavor to do a um a haul video this week no no no, no. you will just say just put it go I yes think, i think i do have more time to spare this week in order to be able to do that i've been trying to convince andrew to just go live and share i know the going live bit terrifies me but we're live now and i it's know fine. but you're here and that's that's well, well I difference. could come on and just hold the things and you talk about them. <laughs> what do you think? If, if this means Andrea gets to, to make her video, would that work? If I'm just here being the clothes rail? <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm here and you'll feel relaxed. Mm. Let us know. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. Uh, it means the world that, that you want to spend your Sunday evenings with us. Oh, yeah. Karen says Stella Ladies is on her channel this Friday at one o'clock. Okay. Fabulous. And I, I don't know who we've got lined up for. Oh, we may. Thursday. We may have Martin from Habu. Yes. We haven't um, confirmed. It's either this week or next. We had a chat with him on Friday. Yes. Um, Lots of changes going on for them, so that's why they haven't been in touch for a while. But um, exciting things. So, yeah, we're going to have a chat with him. Yes. Finally, if you're new to the channel, you won't know, but we worked with a company last year to help promote their service, which is a, a fulfillment service for eBay. So you send all the, your stock to them, and they warehouse it, and pick it and pack it, and send it out when it sells. We sent a load of stock to them and used their service for a few months and we've been trying to arrange with them to do the follow-up video where we share how it all worked and what we thought. Well, we've been in touch and we finally pinned them down to either next week, so it's probably going to be Thursday. If not, it'll be the week after. So, yeah, yeah keep your eyes peeled for that. People are saying that I should do, I should come in wearing the clothes for this video. <laughs> That's not going to happen, but we will have more space, so I'll be able to hold them up. And, um... and Sue says she's just like me and it terrifies her too thank you sue <laughs> yeah going live yeah. takes takes a lot of getting used to i'm kind of used to it but even yeah. i get i'm kind comfortable of... in this situation but if it was just me yeah. i mean i'm getting better at the seller ladies now i feel a bit more in control of that even though i still get you know really anxious about it but i'm completely on my own i'd be like oh because at least you feel like you can bounce off everyone else that's you know that's in the chat but i'm you know in seller ladies but when it's just me i don't but... know Yes, wear it. Yes, wear the clothes, Nick. Wear. Nick, you coward. What? No. <laughs> but, okay, so maybe we'll find... Or, a... or, or a copwad. A, yeah, I'm a copwad, apparently. Lisa said. Lisa, thank you. We will, uh, we will endeavour to get that video put out. I, I will just be quiet and let Andrea talk. I know I talk too much and you can talk about your clothes. Well, you were off on one tonight. And share and share. I'm, I'm overtired. I'm like a five-year-old. <laughs> if I don't get enough sleep, I get to that point. And if you've got kids, you'll understand what I'm talking about, where they're too tired and then they just go mad, like manic. And I'm on one of them right now. Right, are we going? Yeah, I think we are because it's nearly 10 o'clock. Holy cow, we've been live for nearly two hours. Andrea, you don't need to worry about being on your own. There you go. It's it, only us, babe. <laughs> it's only us. I know. Yeah. Right. We're going to leave you. I'm getting messages from people now. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Yeah, um, thanks for watching, everyone. Drop us a message below if you're watching after the fact. Let us know what you thought. And we'll see you in the next video, whatever that might be. Yeah, I don't know. I've got loads to edit. <laughs> right. See you later, guys. Bye. Take care.